Hi everyone, it's Arthur at Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, the shares, subscribers, the wonderful comments, and the beautiful community that you are. I always feel supported and it's appreciated. It means the world to me. Now, I wasn't going to say anything, but I have to. There were some vile comments this week. And if you're watching this channel, I'm not a Trump fan. Yes, it's my personal opinion, but also as a psychic, I'm not a Trump fan. So if you want to watch channels with Trump and the QAnon and all that stuff, go ahead. It's a free country. You can do what you want. But don't watch here, okay? We don't need you. Crawl under your rock. I usually don't care what people say about me. I really don't. But there were just some vile comments that were just, I had to address. All right? So now I've got that out of the way. Also, I want to add that I usually do shows on Friday. And I feel this show is probably going to be posted Saturday night. I'm taping Saturday morning here. And I didn't tape last night because, well, I'm human. I get migraines. So that's what happened. Last week was computers. This week is my brain. This proves I have one. Maybe. So, moving on. Last week I said that I felt there would not be a government shutdown. I said 55% I felt did get a bill passed, 45%, it'll be shut down. Well, as of this morning, the House passed a bill, and now it's headed to the Senate. And as of now, I'm predicting that Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell will get it passed in the Senate, and Joe Biden will sign it. He's not going to be happy with it. No one's going to be happy with it. But they got it through. Main reason is because they did take away aid from Ukraine to get it passed. But we're not going to be turning our backs on Ukraine. I'm telling you that right now. Yes, my personal opinion, but also as a psychic, we're not turning our backs on Ukraine. Ukraine will be a part of NATO within two years. Okay? So... It's just the games they were playing. Now, again, this bill is only it's only good for 45 days. So I guess you don't need to be a psychic that know that know that in 42 days they might be causing a government shutdown. Not gonna happen. Okay. And it was interesting because Matt Gates had said if Democrats vote for this, and more Democrats voted for it in the House than Republicans to get it through. Matt Gates said that he would have start getting rid of McCarthy. So as he started speaking after they took the vote, all McCarthy's allies took a vote, adjourned, and he was basically told to shut up. So I actually feel, even though he's weak, McCarthy may have gained some respect from the more moderate Republicans and not the crazies. Again, my personal opinion. So moving on. Yeah, you know, government shutdown for now. Now, I did get some questions about Humpty Dumpty. Any more? Hi, Arthur. Thanks for all you do. I appreciate that. Do you see Trump having to pay the $250 million to New York, or will it be more? Will he lose all his properties? What happens to his kids, including Ivanko? Thank you. And Kathy Holcomb asked, Hi, Arthur. With the ruling that just was handed down by Judge Angeron in New York, 
fraud case against the Trump Organization, will this cause the orange Mussolini to leave the U.S.? And does this mean that his Russian keeper, a.k.a. his third wife, may end up with no money since all his money is tied up in the Trump Organization? Love and blessings. First of all, unless you've been in a coma and just came out of it, what we're talking about is that Trump, the judge ruled in that Trump committed fraud for years. Him, his organization, his kids, everyone. And that basically the Trump is living in a fantasy world. Now, starting Monday, they're going to court for the judge. It's not a jury trial. Even though Je Trump is running around saying, oh, I don't get a jury trial. First Amendment rights. Well, you can thank your attorney for that because she did not file in time. And when it's a trial by judge. And also, Trump, in delay tactic, tried to sue the judge. And as predicted, the appellate court denied his motion. So, starting Monday, get the popcorn out it's going to get ugly because there are over 30 witnesses to testify including the trump kids including as you say ivanko and the orange menace himself and it's going to get ugly. They're going to be pointing fingers at each other. And I have predicted this will be the end of the family. They're not going to be able to... They're going to part ways after this. It's going to get ugly. He's throwing his kids under the bus. They're throwing him under the bus. And... I'll bring the popcorn. But also as far as him leaving the U.S., I'm not seeing that. I mean... He may think about leaving, but I don't see it happening. First of all, I don't see it happening because I don't think his house is that great. So he's not going to be able to get on his little plane and, and, and skirt to what, Saudi Arabia? No. That would be a defeatist attitude. He's a narcissist. He's going to, he's not going to run away from this and it's just as far as the russian keeper his third wife yeah i've always felt she was the russian handler oh she sucked money away and i've said this as a psychic for some time now that there's paperwork in a file signed for divorce it's just that every year she's held back she gets another million or so but there's money stocked away believe me she's not going to walk away from this empty handed she's too much invested says that again the grift that keeps on grifting she got some of that money too so moving forward Jack Smith hi Arthur Jack Smith has brought in a prosecutor that he worked with in The Hague. Just wondering if this happened because of the private DMs that Jack got of Trump from Twitter, his Twitter account. Well, I feel it's more than that. Now, what we're talking about here is, I have notes. Special Counsel Jack Smith added a veteran war crimes prosecutor who served with Smith as his deputy during his stint at The Hague. His name is Alec Whiting. Worked alongside Smith for three years at The Hague, helping prosecute crimes against humanity that occurred in Kosovo in the 1990s. He's the the educated attorney who worked as a prosecutor for the International criminal court from 2010 to 2013. He has taught law classes at Harvard since 2007, as well as was hired as an assistant professor by then-Dean Elaine Kagan, 
now it's Supreme Court Justice. So it's more than just DMs. I really feel Alex Whiting is going to be brought in for financial reasons. The the wire frauds, the the grifts, the raising money for one saying it's one thing when it's actually for something else. And if you think about it, I love this. Prosecute crimes against humanity. Yeah. Mr. Trump is going down. Entertainment purposes only, my opinion. But it's also my psychic opinion. Also, Alan Annie. Great good morning, Arthur. I have this overwhelming sense that Jack Smith's role may be much larger than we have been told. I feel that he was chosen to ferret out Trump's connection to the world of dark money, sex trafficking, murder, nefarious crimes. What does your spirit team think? Well, when I asked Manny Mo and Jack, my spirit guides, um, I feel what we see is what we get. I feel, yes, Smith is like this umbrella of a lot of things going after Trump first. But he's just seeing where things end up. I really feel he's not going in there. Well, we're going to see if he does murder. We're going to see if this. I mean, it's basically they're a crime family. So he's following the money, following the crimes, and following what was done. And getting to the bottom where this is a man who was our president who tried a coup, said he could remain our president and king. And all that down to him. Not going to happen. So I've also been saying that as we get to the third quarter of, or after the first quarter of 2024, other indictments are going to be coming down. And there are some people in the House and people in the Senate that I feel are going to be in a lot of trouble. That's all I'm saying. Now moving forward. RP commented, when does the Santas crash and burn in Florida? Well, if you look right now, it's in slow motion. I mean, this is like watching Wild Coyote running off the cliff, looking at the camera and realizing he's standing in midair and, and falls. If you watch the debates, he's very unimpressive. He's good at screaming at reporters, but he's, he's about as, as exciting as a bowl of mashed potatoes in white boots. Okay. So he is crashing and burning. I'll be going away. I'll be an afterthought in the history books. And Al Joy commented, Hi, Arthur. How do you see Governor Newsom and DeSantis performing during this debate on Fox, no less? Thank you. I enjoy your shows. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Well, it's going to look like a very learned man having a debate with an anteater. That's going to be anteater is a bad name. Or maybe an amoeba. DeSantis is going to is already crashing and burning, and he's going to crumble under Governor Newsom, who also, by the way, has some very interesting decisions to make since we lost Diane Feinstein this past week. God bless her soul. Um, he has to replace her. But I do feel within the next two weeks, 
to have replacement. And our next person from the clown car, Tim Scott. Sweetie darling Lulu, I love your name. Hey, Arthur. Senator Tim Scott claims he has a good Christian girlfriend that no one has ever seen. Is he lying? What is he hiding? And also Andrea Watson commented, what is up with Tim Scott? Is he contender for 2024? He may be a contender for the Rotary Club. I don't see him going anywhere here. Okay. And as far as the girlfriend, I don't know. I just, I mean, you're running for the, the highest office in the land, and you're going to lie that you have a girlfriend when you don't. And besides that, I don't see him going anywhere. I mean, the man wants to resurrect, we're going to build the wall and make sure there's no abortions whatsoever across the country. And all these wonderful things, these programs he wants to take away from everybody. I mean, he is a Republican, which equals cruel, insensitive, and downright mean. Personal opinion, entertainment purpose only. But anyway, he's not going anywhere. Like I said, Rotary Club? We'll see. Gladys commented, Hi, Arthur. Will Bob Menendez and his wife be found guilty? If so, do you see a Democrat replacing him? Thanks for all your amazing charm and laughter. Sending you love, light, and many blessings. Thank you. Back at you. Back at to all you. Um, he's in doo-doo. Yeah. He's going to be replaced. He's going to be found guilty. And he will be replaced with a Democrat. Thing is, this is not his first time to the rodeo. And one time somebody does something when they smoke this fire and they think they're above it, they do it again. So that's what he feels going to go down here. He's not going to be around for long. Okay. But I find it interesting that the Republicans are like yelling, get rid of him, get rid of him. Oh my God, oh my God. They should look at their own people first before they start talking about Menendez. Right? George Santos? There's a prison cell waiting for you. He's going to jail. And a few others. So anyway, moving forward. Linda J commented, Hi, Arthur. Love you. Love you back. Are they debilitating the military so they can have a civil war. Thank you. They're not that smart. I mean, yeah, they plot, they plan, they steal, they lie, and all that kind of cheat. I just feel the stunt, it's a stunt that Tupperville's pulling with the military. It's all going to backfire in his face. And I actually feel this is, is nail, the nail in his coffin. I don't feel they're doing it just to become Putin's little puppet to make our military weak. I don't think the man realizes the full extent of what he's doing. Let's say he has no law degree. He has no real, what do you want to call it? Experience? Other than being a coach and for college? He does not know what he's doing. But it's going to come up to bite him a big one. Personal opinion, entertainment versus only. But that's why I see it as a psychic. Crazy Shark 22. Hi, Arthur. What do you see for the U.S. economy from now until the next election? Well, the economy... They're just trying to ruin it for Democrats. They're just trying, they won't lower prices. I mean, gas here 
for premium is six ninety nine, which is insane. But people are paying it, and groceries have not gone down. What used to cost like forty three dollars is now like eighty dollars. They can bring the prices down, but they're not. So it's all game playing. However, I do feel as we get after the around May, June, July of next year, it's almost like everyone's going to be seeing the games that are being played. But there's also going to be a sigh of relief when it comes to the housing market. So that's why I'm reading it. We're going to get through this. Then after the election, a lot of changes. Positive changes for the citizens of this beautiful country. Okay? Jamila J. What do you guys think of the Project 2025 planned by the GOP if they win 2024? Horrible if it happens. Well, it's not going to happen. Okay? I do not see Republican becoming our next president in 2024. Now, for those that you don't know, I have notes. Project 2025 is a controversial plan developed and led by the Heritage Foundation, a conservative U.S. think tank. The plan includes widespread changes across the entire government, particularly in regards to economic policy and the role of the federal government and federal agencies. The idea is to reshape U.S. federal government in the event of Republican victory in 2024. Basically, the bottom line is they want to take all the power of all three branches and hand it to the president upon inauguration. Not going to happen. Okay? It's ugly. But then again, as I said earlier, the Republicans lie, cheat, steal. Yes, they're good Christians. Again, I don't know what Bible they follow. And that's my personal opinion. And I keep on saying that tonight, so I hope not on the defense too much. But anyway, the plan to take over the government? No. They always say that our democracy is an experiment. It's fragile. And it is. At the same time, they're not winning. And can we all say this out loud? My three favorite words. Come on, you can say it. Vote, vote, vote. It's up to us. We, the people. Not them, the losers. We, the people. I do feel there's going to be a lot of political changes after this next election for the positive. And not only for the people that want to be progressive, but the policies and plans in place are going to help everyone. It doesn't matter if you're in a red state or blue state. In fact, most of the aid is going to go to red states. But that's okay. We're all in this together. And again, don't stoop to their level. Send them love and light. That's what we can do. All right. Now, Lin, is China and other countries waging war on the U.S. through the influx of fentanyl? If so, how will we fight this? We have been fighting it. The thing is, there's this PR campaign out there to make this government look horrible and blame Biden for everything. Because people are spending millions and millions to get their point of view out there. Not the truth. Because chaos sells. Chaos is clickbait. Chaos gets people all scared and afraid. Well, as any dictatorship would go, be afraid. Be very afraid. But as far as the fentanyl stuff, 
it's not coming over the border like they're making it sounds. It's coming into the country by Americans. And it's coming into the into ports. It's coming to you know where everybody brings stuff into the country, not just a, you know a handful of people coming over the border. Okay? And also there's been less influx of people crossing the border since Biden's been in office. So when they say there's no border, right. Roxanne, this is not political, that's fine. Hi, Arthur. Is there already a cure for the common cold? At least something to rapidly accelerate in the day the healing process via our own cells. But people are not told about it. There's a lot we're not being told about. But the common cold, I'm not sure. When I asked my guides this, there was silence. I mean, I do have a couple of comedians that once said, what do you think? So I feel there's stuff out there that we've not been told about because if you're cold, what happens to all the medications on the shelves? So that's it for tonight, guys, or today, whenever we watch this. Again, I'm sorry if I got a little defensive, but there were some trolls this week. I just hope they go back under the bridge. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Thanks for being there. Please subscribe. And know that I appreciate everyone here. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. So until next time, have fun. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Be safe. And stay amazing. Bye-bye.